Cheryl, first. Your story has really touched me. What is your advice to new entrepreneurs in terms of securing an investment partner? I think you've already shared some of those traits, but if you could uh, deepen our understanding just a bit about who we should turn to for investments. Yeah, you know, it, it's an important question because the first dollar that you take from an investor changes the course of your company or can change the course of your company if you don't make the right choice. And so what it, it, it's very easy as an entrepreneur when you need money um, and to grow your company and it get it can get very scary at times. But it is really important to know that that person you take impacts you, not only the future of your company, but you and how every day goes in that company. Um, I was with my investor every every day. I didn't know in my investor that I had at Plum. I didn't know who I was going to get, and my my world would rock up and down with each phone call. You have to vet these people. Do not take the money just from they. You, they give you a couple references that say, "Oh, they're really good people." Talk to people. Find the people that they're not telling you that have that have been, they invest they have invested in, and call those people and say, "I need to know the real story here. Is this someone that I should take money from?" And I know we made the mistakes. I talked to people that had been. Um, invested with this person and a couple people I talked to had said oh they're great it was the references uh, that he gave me I come to found out after almost every entrepreneur he invested in has said the same exact thing about their experience with him and I didn't do my homework I I was just like wow this guy's gonna give me money he seems really good he talks a great story so I took it 